Hey guys, it's Brad from SolarVPS.com. In today's short video, we're going to talk a little bit about the practical uses, the practical applications for your cloud hosting solution that you just purchased with SolarVPS or that you're thinking about purchasing with SolarVPS. Before we get going, first thing, there's a link right below me. It's a link to an article, it's a blog post that fleshes this video out even more. So feel free to check it out, share it around, enjoy it. Anyway, uh, so the cloud hosting, part of it, so say you're not a techie. Say you're outside of the IT industry, and these days you hear the term the cloud, cloud hosting, cloud solutions, cloud servers, cloud computing. You hear it all the time. However, no one really ever explains what it is and how it actually affects you on a day-to-day -day basis or what you can do with it. It's a nice term, but it's never actually really fleshed out. To rectify this, we're going to change that right now. So, so say you're, you're in the market for cloud hosting. Say you want to buy a Linux VPS or a Windows VPS, both things which SolarVPS proudly offers. You want to buy it, however, you're not sure what to do with it. So let's say you have some thoughts on your mind. You want to get out to the world. Let's say you want to be a blogger. You want to comment on the news. You want to comment on the weather. You want to um, create solidly written keyword research content to bring ad traffic to your site so you can make some easy money and easy dollars. Well, you're in luck. Cloud hosting lets you do exactly that. Through cloud hosting, part of the applications are blogs. Blog setups like Pixie, Eggblog, and WordPress. You've probably heard of WordPress. It's probably the single most popular form of blogging there is online. Uh, it's very accessible, it's very easy to use, allows you to input your thought and send it out to the world and hopefully, if it's done right, get some feedback and uh, become pretty popular online. Cloud hosting allows for blogging. It allows you to get your thoughts yourself out to the world. It's a very practical solution for everyday use, whether you're a professional or, or just someone who feels like having a blog, choice is yours, but cloud hosting allows for exactly that same thing. Now we mentioned ad traffic, and ad traffic will bring in some money to your site. Another very, very useful and more business-like application of cloud hosting solutions is the e-commerce website. E-commerce is as it sounds, so say you have a cart, I mean, actually think about, think about Amazon. Amazon is the largest world's e-commerce site. You've been on Amazon, I've been on Amazon, we all love the site. Essentially, you go in there, find your product, purchase it, check it out, and they send it to you in two to six days, whether you have Prime or not. An e-commerce site is exactly what Amazon is. It allows you to have products on there, whether they're supermarket products, whether they're sports products, whether they're uh, hardware products for IT firms like ourselves. Either or, an e-commerce site will allow you to sell those products to the world and have a, a, a confident, have an authenticated way to sell those products and receive payment. Essentially be an online business. Now through cloud hosting, you can access e-commerce sites by using portals like WHMCS, box billing, and one of the more popular ones that has been over the past few years is Magento. Essentially these three, along with a large list of other ones, allow you to set up and confidently run your own e-commerce site, your online business, so you can have an online store and hopefully make a ton of money. Now another use for uh, cloud hosting site, this is also very popular, it's kind of part of social networking, um, but it's kind of an older form of social networking, it's forums. Now if you've ever gone online, say you have an Android phone or say you have a, uh, um, an iPhone and you have an issue, you have a problem, however you don't want to really go and call the manufacturer, you go online and Google and you, you type in, you know, um, how do I root my phone? Essentially, you'll find a tremendous amount of forums an online board of discussion, which has a lot of threads and comments on it, that a community has formed around that you will find your answer in, and if you so choose to be, you can be part of it. Forums are a phenomenal community builder. So say you have an, actually an e-commerce site, or say you actually have a blog, and around this, you want to build a bigger, larger community to support the services or the, the thoughts and the words that you're putting out to the world, the content you're putting out to the world. A forum will allow you to do just that. It'll allow your fans to interact with not only you, but each other, and form more of a community bond. 
some forms, some popular forms are BB Press, XMB, and PHP BB. These are all very popular forms of forms. They're very easy to use, very easy to set up. And again, they allow for community fostering. They allow for more interaction between you and the people you're trying to reach. Or essentially, if you want to join a community, you and that community. It's a great kind of older social networking tool online that still exists, that still flourishes, and it's very useful for, for bloggers and for businesses. Now, we've given you three different easy solutions that cloud hosting provides you as either a personal blogger or a professional, small to medium sized business, a single person. This would even work for enterprise level companies. However, we don't want you to think that cloud hosting is that limited to simply only three applications. Some of the other applications that go with this are you can have video sites pop up, video heavy sites, think of YouTube in that sense, uh, social networking sites, RSS feeds are very, very popular. This is a way to get your content out to the world to let everyone know what you're writing, what you're doing, and again, hopefully maybe bring in some, uh, some dollars that way. Uh, project management. Uh, portal CMS uh, applications, which you might know more as Drupal or Joomla, very, very popular portal CMS. Um, polls and surveys, microblogs, little small microblogs, uh, mail sites, libraries, Gaming sites, that's also very, very popular, online gaming sites. Uh, galleries for photos, ad management, frameworks, files, educational sites, ERP, database tools, and customer support. And customer support, again, if you're a small, medium, small to medium-sized business, that'll come in really, really handy for you. Pretty self-explanatory, set it up, it allows you to have online customer support. Uh, easy way to um, help your community along and help customers along. So. With this said, we want to close this short video by simply saying that cloud hosting is not uh, an ephemeral term that is hard to understand, that you can't use. It's there for everyday use. If you, again, if you're a blogger, if you're a small business, if you're someone who wants to manage numbers and analyze incoming traffic, cloud hosting servers, Linux VPS, and Windows VPS, all of which Sol VPS provides, can supply you with this needed solution and give you a leg up in our internet-centric world.